Welcome people, welcome back uh, to the part 2 of uh, my uh, uh, way of showing a love for a system that uh, many people doesn't show enough love I think uh, uh, and many people think that it's uh, a kid system we don't like kiddies game and you know weird ass sports game and shit but it's not so it's a Wii yeah so this is part 2 uh, of my collection and uh, yeah Let's uh, let's start this thing. Uh, yeah, uh, this game I haven't played is part of a franchise a franchise that I really like. Uh, I don't know much about this game, so Metroid, the other M, or other M. Fuck, it has to be sixteen to play that game. What the fuck do they have in it? Yeah, I definitely want to try that one out. And uh, this game, I don't know who recommended this one to me. Uh, but if it is as good as this guy said, you know, I will get the second one as well. But that fetches more money. But this one is cheap. This special edition one as well. So it's like, uh, it's a conduit. Uh, I'm not, I don't really like FPS uh, games at all but when it comes to Wii it's it's a perfect system with the controllers for first person shooters so you know, the first person shooters I play on the, the PC I said that before so that one there and then we have a game that uh, this one I'm getting rid of I'm not gonna tell you why yeah I'm gonna get another another of this game but in another <laughs> box fuck it you know so it's uh, Cabela Survival Shadow of, uh, Shadows of Katmai <laughs> it's not a bad game I kinda like it it's a lot of uh, climbing and shit but it's not bad I mean it's not it was like a six, six and a half seven maybe out of ten and it ended up my list so I bought it and this game is a very rare kind of game to be on the Nintendo system. It's 18 years old to play, it's Mad World. Uh, very cool like um, hand-drawn graphics. Uh, very gory and slicing, a lot of blood. Uh, not for your kids, uh, but... It's... I would imagine uh, Woodland is a game for you. I think you would like this game a lot. Uh, Mad World. So, yeah, Woodland. If you have a Wii, I think you have. And then we have a, a pretty old school game, but you know, in a new shape. Uh, it's uh, Geometry Wars Galaxies. Uh, it's not like it's you know a new port of the game. It's it's a new game, but it looks very retro. If you ask me, I I like it. Definitely worth having. So then we coming up to the probably. Uh, it could be the best game on the system, I think. It, it's definitely top three, if you ask me. I'm playing it right now. That is Xenoblade Chronicles. My god, people. What a game. What a game. I cannot understand. It's so fucking huge, this game. Uh, and I have the special edition one. It's with a red controller there and a bigger book. Uh, I like this box. I like that. Like this game. So, I actually bought this big box before I played the game, though. But oh, awesome game! See, my hair stands up <laughs> because I think about the game. It's so fucking good. Uh, and then we have, um, uh, this game has been ported to many systems, but, and it's called differently on PlayStation 2, I think it's something in Latin, uh, but on the Wii it's called Bully, uh, it's got a ship edition. Uh, I'm not a big Rockstar fan, you know, their games, but it's just quite enjoyable this game. And I wanted the Wii, Wii version as well. The next game is from a series that I got recommended from um, uh, Sega 
of my house, you know, the funny Aussie that many of us are uh, subscribed to. Go check out his channel down under. Sorry, I had a, something happening in my brain there, so I had to do that. It happens, you know. No, it's not Tourette's, but it's Tourette-ish. So, yeah, Obscure. Uh, and this is Obscure 2, uh, and I got Obscure 1 on the PlayStation 2. Uh, and this is very, like, Resident Evil-ish. So if you like Resident Evil, definitely get Obscure 1 and 2. Uh, brought to you by Sega of my house. G'day, mate. Put, let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Horrible way of speaking English, by the way. Uh, next one is a special edition fantastic game, and this completes the three, you know, big games, RPGs on the system. Uh, kind of a series, and uh, that is uh, Pandora's Tower. And I'm really happy to get this. And then uh, this came in like a black case, and that's very rare when it comes to Wii. I think it's the only one I have. Yeah. Pandora's Tower, and that came also with uh, this awesome uh, metal case, look at that, look at that, it's shiny and nice, I like it, and also the big wax, so that completes the three, not the three big ones, I got one RPG more that's really awesome, but you know, these three series. So, six, seven minutes, fucking hell. Uh, this is also another game for you, Woodland. Uh, you're probably gonna like this. Uh, very like cartoonish, uh, hack and slash, uh, kind of violent, 16 plus it says here. There's a two, uh, second one out as well on the Wii, No More Heroes. I really like how this game looks, to be honest. And next one is the second one in the series, and uh, but I didn't buy the first one because I heard the the control is really bad on that one, and uh, this one worked with the, the the Wii Motion Plus, so I said fuck it to the first one and bought the second one. So yeah, Red Steel Two, and yeah, it had is really good. I don't know about the first one, but I didn't, I'm not gonna buy that. And then it's another movie. Uh, that I really like, uh, so I had to have the game, and I heard it's you know decent. Back to the Future, the game. So that's in there, and then um, this is still sealed. So fucking out. I I cannot lie to you and say I played it because I haven't. But I really liked how this looks. Um, this game and. Uh, what I heard on uh, you know YouTube. So it's Carlene, an adventure too weird for words. That's Carlene, I I guess. <laughs> and she's gone. And then we have uh, you know one of my favorite genres, the you know puzzle, thriller, you know mystery novel kind of thing is. Another code R, A Journey Into Lost Memories. Happy as fuck to have that? No, probably happy as a... Happy as a something. Then we have what I think is... This guy sent, you know, sent me a, a game case that's not fucking Nintendo case. And I hope the inlay is not fucking something he printed. But... Fucking hell, this, this case is shit. But it's a uh, Lego game, and I, I like my Lego games, like most of us do. Uh, so it's Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! Uh, yes, uh, 1, 2, 4. So I need the uh, 527. This one, uh, I'm not sure it's going to stay in the, in the Wii family. My, uh, not my Wii family, anyway. It's still sealed, but it's drawn to life, the next chapter. Uh, I think I might be... In, uh, fooled into getting this one. We'll see. Maybe you can tell me So I don't have to open it and just, you know Get it off my collection 
And then we have uh, one of the really fantastic uh, RPGs on this system, I think. And some people also like this um, due to the, the Tales of Symphony on the GameCube, which I don't fucking have yet. Uh, still have the fucking GameCube, uh, Tales of Symphony, and the Japanese game, which I can play, you know. Hey, Hosikuto! That's all I can say in Japanese. And, uh, so, yeah, this is like a sequel, you might say, to Tales of Symphonia. It's a Dawn of the New World. <coughs> this is not a cheap game to get. So, bear that in mind, but... If you like RPGs, JRPGs like me, it's definitely something worth having in the, in the collection. And, uh, you know, another hint, this is a German one. So you can't see in the front, but in the back it's in German here. So I got that for much much cheaper than it goes for on you know, like um, you know like the British uh, eBay. So you know what it plays in English. So that was that. Uh, then the, one of my favorites on the system, uh, which I don't have the second one for. Also a German one, so I got this cheaper. You have it on the back. Uh, I don't have a second one. Don't ask me why, but I will get it. Super Mario Galaxy. Fucking hell, this is a good game. Fantastic. Uh, nine and a half out of ten. Definitely get this. And I hope the second one is better. I played the second one. At my nephew's house. Yeah, it is better. Yeah, that was the second one. So then we have this All Stars that came, you know, with a big box. You know. Same shit, uh, you know, Super Mario Brothers, Lost Levels, Super Mario 3, and, you know, SMB 3. So it's the same shit. We have to pay money for it again. Oh, they gave them, they gave them out for free, yeah, for the Super Nintendo, if I if remember correctly. Another Final Fantasy game uh, that I haven't played, it's uh, Crystal Chronicles. Uh, Echoes of Time. I like the Crystal Chronicles um, on the GameCube, so I might, might, might like this one as well. Looks very like the kids in the game now. So, on rail shooter that is actually really good. Dead Space Extraction works really good on the Wii. I have to speed up a bit. <laughs> I'm up to 13 minutes and there's a lot of games still up on the fucking shelf. Uh, yeah, Dead Space. Another shooter. Uh, ported, you know, much later. Uh, this is perfect to have the gun with. Perfect to have on the Wii. Uh, I love this uh, arcade game. Who doesn't? You know, House of the Dead. Uh, 2 and 3, Return. You know. If you like this arcade game, get it, get it, get it, get it now. Tomb Raider uh, Anniversary, don't have to say much about that, uh, except take a look at her ass there. And uh, another fucking cool um, shooter, House of the Dead, Overkill. One of a few 18 on the Wii. Definitely, definitely get this, people. If you like that genre, oh, so it's another eight here. This game is, um, yeah, it, I think it was on the Super Nintendo or fuck was it? No, not on Super Nintendo. It's the same game. It was on the uh, Mega Drive. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, this version is it's not as good as that one, uh, but it's it's definitely worth having. You know, a three D shooter. Uh, uh, on top, you know, uh, look down. One of the best games on the system, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Uh, if you haven't played this game, uh, do it. And it's it's pretty challenging. This game, uh, I'm telling you, it's really hard to finish this the game, especially when when it rides in the whatever you call that the carts, you know, that carts, mining carts, something, yeah. It's a really good game. Definitely um, made me proud of Nintendo when that came out. 
Then it's a franchise that I'm not the biggest fan of, but you know, there are actually some Sonic games I like, so Sonic Unleashed. And then we have a Deep Silver game, um, Cursed Mountain. It's pretty scary, I heard. Uh, I haven't played it, so that'd be something cool to put my teeth into. Then we have a game uh, that first came out on the Saturn, if I'm right. Uh, it's Night's Journey of Dreams. Uh, I was actually betting on uh, one of those big boxes, uh, Knights for the Saturn, with that cool uh, round uh, controller that I don't have. But I got sniped again, fucking dick. Knight's Journey of the Dreams. Journey of Dreams. We all remember her, don't we? With the big eye. Ice. Ice. Uh, a very uh, uh, cool game. Uh, this is definitely a hidden gem, you know. Get this game, people. Opponent. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's kind of a RPG-ish action adventure. Yes, the, you know, very Japanese. I love it. It's made by Koi. Spiral. Who doesn't like Spiral? Uh, Dawn of the Dragon. Mm. All Spyro games I've played so far are good, so that was that. And here's the first one, the blob, the first blob. Get them both, you know. Blob. Great game. I actually want to play blob right now. I think I'm going to turn this off. Oh. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny, Raz. It is not funny. Uh, Metro Prime, uh, Corruption, Metro Prime 3, Bada Bing. Maybe I should get all these and not get trilogy fucking expensive one. But all those three is ex almost expensive as the trilogy. Ah, oh, fuck it up. I can't do it. I can't do it, Cut! I just can't. Lord of the Rings, another Lego game. Why not? Why not? You know? 17 minutes and 34 seconds, and we are talking about Lego. You know, what the fuck have the Danish people made, done with us? Made us all fucking love these blocks. Now, I think we have to, you know, thank the Danish people or the Danish guy that invented uh, Lego. It's a fucking pure genius thing that. Crash, I like Crash. Mind of a Mutant. Haven't played this Crash though. So. That's that. Check it out, I'm speeding up here. This is a game I got recently, haven't played. Samurai Warriors, Cantana, it was on the list. I bought it. So, there you go. There it is. Made by Koi. Uh, Prince of Persia, Rival Swords. I haven't played much Prince of Persia at all. I uh, played some on the PS2 back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, so, I got that. This, uh, I heard is pretty good platformer, so I got it. Jewish Adventure. And, uh, yeah, I, I tried this out, and I kind of I kind of like it, to be honest, uh, this platformer. I think it's really entertaining. I think you should definitely, if you like corky platformers like the, me, you should get this. The Secret Saturdays, uh, I think that's a cartoon. Beast of the Fifth Sun. I was supposed to talk about one game that. Fuck is that? Hold on, people. What the fuck is that game? No, oh, it hasn't arrived yet. I got Wii, Wii games coming in. So, the last eight. Thank fucking God for that. Uh, this is a game I've been playing uh, during the month. A Wii and I really liked it. It's uh, I like the graphics, like old hand painted kind of graphics. Um, you are a pilot, it's blazing angels, squadrons of uh, the Second World War. So fly these old planes, shooting Germans. Uh, I like it. I don't, you know, didn't mean 
Don't mention the war, for fuck's sake, don't mention the war. I'm from Barcelona, I know nothing. This game I only got because it's Mario, I probably will never play it. Mario Strikers, uh, football, I mean I love football, yeah. And I'm talking about real football now, uh, Woodlin, not that uh, game with the referee stalling his whistle every 5-10 seconds. Then we have uh, Batman, the video game, on Lego one uh, on the Wii. This is really good actually. For being a Lego game, it's really good. And this is uh, the second one without a manual. Uh, and it's the case is really beat up. And this might be one that does stay in collection if I don't like it. So it's Disaster, Day of Crisis, where you save people in a, a disaster. So, we'll see about that. Another Sonic game. Fucking hell, you should fucking end with the best games, but I didn't think about that at all, so... <laughs> the last three ones are... Yeah, the last one is really good, though. I think that's the last one. Uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Could be. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm gonna put my thumb over EA there. Because I don't buy EA games, so I, you know, I fool myself every day of the week about that. The last one is really good. Um, I think there was this was ported to the PlayStation 2 as well. Uh, this is a game, action RPG that you should definitely have your collection. Uh, I really like it. The Rising Star games. It's baroque. Uh, I really like the graphics in this one, and uh, it is a good game. So, thank you. That was the my Wii collection. Uh, it's pretty good. Like 95 games, maybe 90. I don't know. Did you count? Did you? Yeah, but I want to give that system some love here on YouTube. Because it, it, it is a better system that a lot of people say, and the controllers are awesome, and uh, there are good games. Like I said, you know, at least if you trust me, there are like 110, 120 good games for the system. And uh, yeah, that was that. And uh, now, it's a month of the PlayStation 1, so I haven't decided which game I'm going to play first now. Legend of Dragoon or... Brave friends of Mushashi. But we'll see. And making this video, I just forgot to uh, bet on a game that I wanted on eBay. So thank you for that. Fuck. See what it was sold for? Yeah, it was sold for the lowest bid. Can't fuck off. Oh, I hate when that happens, you know. I have it on my phone to bling. You know, make a little noise when I, it's three minutes left, but I forgot. Yeah, so that was that, people. Be nice and uh, fuck you down.